Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make low poly terrain in Blender. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up Blender and we're gonna clear the scene. So just hit A um, and delete everything. So press X um, and now everything's gone. And from here, we're going to create the terrain. So just go to add mesh cylinder. And what we're gonna do is lower the vertices to something a little smaller around the 20s maybe. Um, until you're happy with whatever it looks like. This is going to be the top part of the terrain and then this is obviously the bottom of the island. Uh, most people when they're making islands work from the top to the bottom, but I actually work from the bottom to the top. It's easier for me. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of scale this out a little bit like that. Uh, we're going to extrude it and scale it out again one more time um, until we have a nice like funnel look to it and then just one more time like that. Uh, next, we're going to collapse the bottom, so just hit X, edge collapse, and it makes it a sharp point for us. And we're not done yet, so the last thing that I usually do is I add a modifier, um, and the modifier is a decimate modifier. Um, and what it does is it changes this terrain, um, instead of it all being straight lines and smooth and uniform and stuff, it kind of randomizes stuff a little bit and it also gets rid of extra vertices for us. So it kind of lowers our uh, poly count and our verts and all that. So uh, I just use that and it gives it that toony low poly look and once I'm happy with it, I hit apply. Um, and from here, I just extrude it one more time and create my top face, which is my last layer of grass. So just E to extrude like that and I usually make mine flare out a little bit. Um, from here, you can play around with the shape even more if you want to. So like you can select these, uh, maybe drag them out a little bit um, and just customize it however you want it to be. Um, ultimately, it is your island. Uh, play around with that a little bit and then obviously if you want to change up the top to where it's not so square You can select some of these faces like these uh, Just select them through here um, Drag them out if you want it to customize it however you want it to be Once you're happy with that, uh, we'll get into texturing So let me just play around with mine a little bit and I'll show you guys the finished product All right, now that I'm happy with the shape of my island, I'm going to change the colors of it. So there's two ways to do this. Um, what most people do is they'll hold Alt and then click and then they'll select the top and the bottom faces. Uh, hold Shift when you're selecting both of those. And as you guys can see, we have all of the grass selected. Uh, most people separate it into two separate meshes. That way you can color them in Roblox Studio. So the way to do that is just select the top faces and press P and then hit selection and it says separate by selection. Um, so now our grass and our dirt is two separate meshes and we can ex export them into Roblox Studio into two separate meshes. That's one way to do it, but I just prefer coloring it in Blender. So how you do that is you go to material, you create new, and then where it says base color right here, you hit this little circle and we're gonna add an image texture under texture. Um, and from here, we're gonna open up a color palette that we're gonna use to color it. For me, I love using gradients to color my models. So we're gonna use a gradient color palette to color it. If you want to access this color palette, just join my Discord. We have a resources thing you guys can get it from. Um, but basically, if we go to UV editing, you guys can see we have a bunch of nice gradients that we're gonna color it with. So we're gonna go to view, perspective, and orthographic, and then we're gonna switch to our x-axis so we can get a nice like flat view of our island. And from here, we're going to unwrap our island. So just press U and then um, project from view. Um, and as you guys can see, our island got projected onto here. We're just gonna bring it to a nice brown color and we're gonna scale it on the y-axis to where the gradient applies to the whole model. And if you wanna see that live action, just go over here, press Z and material view. And you guys can see our dirt gradient is applied to this, so it's darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. Next, we're going to hold Alt and right click, and then we're going to select this top face and that face right there. 
go back into the perspective view and we're just gonna hit G and grab and drag it over to a grass color. Um, and then you can also scale it down and scale it up on the Y axis to apply the gradient on here too. But that's optional because that effect's not really seen as much. Um, but as you guys can see, it's lighter and then darker there. Um, even you could uh, rotate it, press R and then the axis and then uh, 90 degrees once you have only it selected. So let's just box select it over here and then rotate it. And now we have the darker grass on top, which I prefer. But that's how you would color it in Blender. If you want to make some of these creases more noticeable, you can drag it down to a darker part on the gradient um, and it just creates a darker look to it. Um, you guys can play around with that however you want it to be, but that's how you model and texture a low poly island in Blender 2.8. If you guys enjoyed this video, you found it helpful and you were able to create one on your own, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, and join my Discord server. We have a place where you can showcase all your creations and uh, brag about what you've made. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.